Hello, you sick, twisted freak. My name's Garrett Steele, and I just got back from Game 2 between the Red Wings and San Jose Sharks. As you can tell, my playoff beard is in full effect. The best thing about that, of course, means that I can hang outside Starbucks with a styrofoam cup and people will give me quarters. Before we get to the game, I would like to state that the most obnoxious thing about getting to the second round of the playoffs is uh, one particular group of bandwagon jumpers. I'm all for bandwagon jumping, uh, but I don't understand the people who spend upwards of two, three hundred dollars on a ticket only to get so shit-faced drunk that they act belligerently and cannot remember any of the game. If I were to spend a couple hundred dollars on an evening I'm not going to remember, it would involve a bottle of absinthe and rough sex with the prostitute. The gentleman uh, to my right, uh, about six beers in, started baby talking everything he was screaming, uh, which was very disturbing. Uh, but onwards uh, to the game. Uh, in the first podcast, uh, after uh, game one of the Colorado uh, San Jose series, I stated that the San Jose Sharks might just be one of the worst chokers in NHL history. And I am now pleased to say that this might be the best San Jose Sharks team ever in the history of the franchise. Uh, and not just because of the big Pavelski. Uh, one of the great things is that the Sharks are being physical and they finally have that killer instinct. Jumbo Joe has been a force out there all night. He doesn't have the time and space, but he's hitting bodies and he's doing what he can. Uh, what I said earlier about goaltender Evgeny Nabokov, that he was never going to be good enough to steal a playoff series, that still remains true, but he doesn't have to be with the balanced scoring we're now starting to get. Uh, Rob Blake and Dan Boyle uh, make a fantastic team on the blue line. Uh, the, their veteran presence completely... Uh, it's something the Sharks have never had. Uh, two steady hands, uh, completely two future Hall of Famers confident in everything they're doing. Uh, Heatley and Marlowe were starting to chip in some points. And Logan Couture, uh, Logan Juicy Couture, is a fantastic new addition, and I love seeing him on the top line with Thornton and Heatley. I love how McClellan is matching up uh, his guys, and I am very excited about going into Detroit up 2-0. Uh, true, we've been up 2-0 on Detroit once before, but this is not the same team. With gritty players like Malhotra, with Nickel, uh, we're going to be able to take this series. Detroit needs to win the next four out of five if they want to take it from us. They can't do that. And now, what can you say about uh, the big Pavelski? Uh, two goals, he may have had some assists, I'm not quite sure. But uh, most important, or not most importantly, but just a feather in his hat, he was 81.3% in the faceoffs. That's astounding and has two goals in his past two playoff games. The last person to do that, Mario Lemieux. The theme for this playoff series for this year, uh, Sharks vs. Red Wings, exorcism, playoff exorcism. Except instead of Linda Blair's head spinning around backwards spewing vomit, we have Ryan Close spinning backwards with a backhand goal. Sharks fans, this is our year to win the cup.